So just a little bit more about Bootstrap and how to include it in your application. Right now I've included just the CSS, and you might have been asking yourself here on index.js on line 6, how did he know to put bootstrap slash dis slash CSS and so on and so forth? Well, when we ran npm install bootstrap, it actually installed bootstrap in this folder, node modules. And if I open that and scroll all the way down to the Bs, you'll find a folder called bootstrap right here. And inside of that is a folder called dist, and inside of that is a folder called CSS, and that's all the various CSS files used by Bootstrap. And the one that I wanted was the minified version of the entire Bootstrap framework, which is why I chose bootstrap.min.css. You might also want to include the JavaScript, and the one I would include is this one, bootstrap.bundle.min.js. And we can include that JavaScript exactly the same way. Import from Bootstrap slash dist slash js slash bootstrap dot bundle dot min dot js like that and if i save that for some reason my ide gives me a warning which i'm going to ignore because i know it's not wrong if i save that and go over say back to my web browser and open up bootstrap's website again get bootstrap and find in the documentation something that I think depends upon JavaScript. So I'll go to components and maybe accordion. And I'll find an example. So I'll copy this example and go back to my React app and then go back to my code. And my code is over here. And let's open up our app content. And inside of this, I'll get rid of the button we created. And I'll just delete that and paste in the code I just copied. There's a lot of it, and I'll get rid of it shortly. I just want to make sure this works, so I'll tab it over. And save this, and go back to my IDE, or go back to my web browser, and reload this page. There's an accordion, and this should now collapse, and there it goes. And if I view source on this page, actually if I view source you're not going to see very much, we'll just see our ID root and this static bundle. But if I inspect this page, so inspect the page, down at the bottom, I have my static JS bundle, my vendor's main chunk, and my main chunk JS. This is all automatically compiled from the various imports that we have in our React application. So that's where the JavaScript goes. Now again, if you don't want to import it that way, lots of people, and there are many schools of thought on this, but lots of people, I'm going to delete this code because we're not actually going to use it anymore. Let me delete that. If you choose to import things using a CDN, there's lots of positive arguments or lots of valid arguments on why that's a good way to do it. I just tend to import it using NPM. That's my preference. You can do whatever you wish. Either way is absolutely fine. All right, that's it for Bootstrap and installing it. Let's move on with our exploration of the things we can accomplish in React.